And, well, it was it was it was necessary. It helped me. It, did. it helped me enormously. I mean, to to be sitting uh, four feet away from the man who killed your daughter, who was all dressed up like a priest and read the Bible. I mean, it was it made me enraged at the show business thing that justice has uh, become. You know, dressing somebody up in a part, and I hated him. I just hated him, and uh, and to be that close to him. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and it, it so affected one of my sons uh, that, uh, you know, when they yelled out in the courtroom, Your Honor, Alex Dunn has tears in his eyes. And, and they kicked him out of the court. It was horrible. It was the most horrible experience. But, you know, when I wrote that article, I understood for the first time that I had power. Mm -hmm. Because that judge, I blame him for everything everything that went wrong in that ridiculous trial where a man who strangled a young woman for five minutes until she was dead got two and a half years in prison slap on the hand and all anyway I know that you had an encounter with him years later yeah I had an that? encounter with him. but you see I went after him in a way in in that article yeah. so that within a year he went from the uh, uh, superior court to children's court to traffic court to no court mm -hmm. and you know you know I have to tell you it sounds mean I felt good it doesn't sound mean it's a small measure of revenge small but it, it's something and I did run into him as a he, he then uh, I ran into him years later at the OJ Simpson trial and uh, and uh, what was he doing there he was a reporter for the Malibu Times. Have you ever heard of that paper? No, I never not. have. <laughs>